The situation in the Donbass has two questions. One, is the dominant narrative the actual narrative we should be focusing on? Two, if it is, is it accurate? The first narrative is uh, so far to the margins that nobody addresses it at all. And that's the question of whether there was a cahooters, an agreement between Trumpy Toon and his friends in the oligarchy of foreign countries to do the COVID dirty. And then the situation in Don Mass was inaugurated to sweep all that under the carpet. The second narrative is the idea that Russia was not wronged and behaved belligerently. Everybody is appalled by the invasion, but Russia was certainly wrong. 2014, there was a coup. America lied, intervened, and manipulated the situation. And then Russians in the Donbass were subjected to mass murder, to say the least. There are people who say that it's not a genocide. Well, they're playing with words. 14,000 people is a lot of death. There are people who are legitimate, concerned in the West. Robert Kennedy, Jeffrey Sachs, Noam Chomsky have all expressed informed opinions about the situation. I believe that the question is very valid of whether Russia believed that they were com uh, committing an invasion that was necessary to protect their people. The encroachments at their border is an outrage. The idea of expanding NATO the way we have is felonious to our own words and our own promise. I'm sorry it happened. And I'm tor tormented by the images and memories of what was done to the Ukrainian people. Torrifying. But I know enough about governments and the way the governments have treated me in my own society not to believe that they had the best interests of the people in mind. They didn't just walk into this blonde. It looks provoked and purposeful. And there's some question in my mind whether it's the new world order the Bush used to talk about operating behind the scenes in Russia as well.